So fishing was just introduced in Diablo Immortal. So in this video, we're going to check it out, see everything we need to know. So they did say that the quest to start the whole fishing line to get your fishing rod is in Biofin. So looking at it here on the map, it looks like it's actually by this bridge on top of the city. And you can also go to your activities as well. And there's actually a tab here at the bottom, fishing tasks. You could actually just click on the arrow to take you right there. Okay, here we go. It was bringing up his shop at first, but now it looks like there's a green arrow to do the quest. So this looks to be like a legit quest line. So this guy got some text. You heard the voices from the waters, did you? You're like me, a listener. I heard you were willing to teach me to fish. That's all I heard. They say, find me, catch me, free me. I don't want to be a fish any longer. I could come back as something better if you just give me the gift of air, my lord. Okay, so this is just dialogue here. So it looks like he gave us a fishing rod and gave us some bait as well. Now it's bringing us to a solo story dungeon. So it looks like this is just going to be an individual thing just to kind of teach you how to do it. So, okay, let's, let's see what this is about. Catch your line with the skill button. Let's go ahead and click it. As you can see, the character throws the pole. And so I'm assuming when the button lights up, we're supposed to hit it to um, hook the fish. I don't know. I I'm kind of just waiting for something to happen. Okay, as we can see, it's lighting up, so hook a fish before pulling your line up, so pull the fish. Okay, so it looks like there is a meter. Okay, so you have to keep type, you have to keep tapping the button and just pretty much just keep it in the meter. This is pretty unique. I don't, I think uh, a, a Stardew Valley, for example, kind of has this kind of same mechanic, but it's different than most games uh, for fishing. Okay, so we have 98 bait left, it looks like. Let's go ahead and catch another one. I assume that's what he wants us to do. I'm guessing the amount of time it takes is um, like random RNG. It looks like we're up to 20 seconds. Uh, there's a treasure down there. It only costs time. Uh, was I supposed to? Okay, the timer's up to 45 seconds. Okay, so it looks like, okay, we tap, hook a fish, pull the fish up, and then we just got to keep the uh, bar in the meter. So pretty cool. I kind of like this so far. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. I'm wondering... Okay, we caught a barracuda. It shows the weight of the fish. I assume that's going to provide some type of value for the fish. Now, let's talk to him and see if the quest actually continues and, and what's going on. Um, okay, so he's saying, as any fish you spare from the waters, I'll trade you. I've got lots to give. So it, there's going to be rewards for trading in the fish. And if you need any bait, he'll sell you some for some gold as well, it looks like. So as you can see, we're in the exchange menu here. If I try to sell just this big mouth fish, looks like we get XP uh, and gold as well. And then let's check what this barracuda is. Okay, this is what I was hoping for. So as we can see, the we we get a piece of mystery equipment for trading this fish. I was really hoping they would do something like this. It's good to see that they did. So let's just go ahead and sell them both. Uh, very interesting. This is a a little bit of gold. I'm, I'm assuming the gold you get from the fish will actually be enough to be able to buy more bait to fish. But wow, very nice so far. Do we get to see how much XP we got from that? Uh, it didn't pop up, but it looks like that's it. So it wasn't no big fancy quest to be able to uh, get a fishing pole. He literally literally just gives you one that you go into a separate uh, dungeon and uh, pretty much teaches you how to do it and then that's it so now we can just fish so going into the shop as you can see one bait sells for 200 gold uh not too bad it looks like you get 99 uh bait at a time buying for them now i'm assuming this is probably daily uh i would assume it'll refresh for the next day but let's go ahead let's cast some lines out let's just fish for a little while see if we get anything good i'm gonna go ahead and try to cast some and i also want to go to different spots of the of the world uh different zones and see if we can fish there as well Okay, I will say off top, I'm not the biggest fan of how long you actually have to wait to uh, catch a fish. This to me is taking a long time and the, the circle's glowing and I'm assuming I'm hitting the button too soon. You probably have to wait for it to just fully light up. I'm seeing the ring around and I want to hit the button then and there. So that's going to take some getting used to. Okay, so the circle's starting to light up. I'm assuming that's just a cue to get ready to go ahead and, you know, try to hook the fish. Um, Pretty basic. I'm assuming when this is an easier one like this, this is probably going to be a lighter, less rare fish. Big mouth, seven pounds. Let's actually just look real quick and see what uh, rewards we could get for this. Yeah, as you can see, these little common fish don't uh, give you too much rewards. You don't get a legendary piece from them. But this is what I'm curious about. Okay, so we could fish at that bridge there at the top, but can you fish at any sources of water in, uh, in the zone that allows fishing? So let's go ahead and walk down here to this other bridge and see if we can cast out. It looks like we can, so that's pretty cool. So it looks like you could pretty much fish anywhere. Now, I want to try something out real quick. Okay, I actually came right here by the pirate ship. It doesn't look like you could fish right there, but there is a, a, a gate. 
locking it. So I want to go ahead and come up here to this bridge, actually see if you can fish from here. Uh, it doesn't look like you can. So it looks like as of right now, at least the fishing in Balfin is, is, you know, strictly in the city. I'm assuming this bridge at the top here. And these two bridges, probably the one by the ferryman as well, you could probably fish. And as you can see, looking at Ashwood Cemetery, there's actually a fishing spot right here by the bridge under the city as well. So I'm assuming you can maybe come to this other bridge and fish. It looks like the fish is mainly going to be in the city of these uh, three zones. So pretty cool. Very fun. I'm very excited for this one and to really hop into and see what kind of rewards we could get. So far, we did get a, a legendary piece from it, which is awesome you know so it's looking like the rarer the fish the better stuff you get and you could always trade any fish for gold and uh xp as well that we're seeing so far hopefully we're able to trade them for gems as well and other things besides legendary equipment but so far so good i really like this a lot and i can't wait to keep um experimenting with it hope you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe for more much love to all y'all